Come on, sweetheart. Cooperate. I gotta find us a grub sticker. You got no grub. All right, you son of a, uh, of a skunk. Whatever it says on that sign, it means you belong to me. Someday I'm gonna plant that on, on the biggest gold striker in California. Then I'm gonna bury you in a, a mountain of oats. Gosh, I wish I could read. What do you want? Miss Turner in there. What if he is? Well, I want to talk to him. Well, if it's a handout you want, go around the back. But it would... Some of you are new here. So before you get any ideas of your own, I want to explain how this establishment is conducted. As you can see, this is an expensive place to run. So naturally, in return for your being here, I expect you to encourage the customers to spend their money freely. What if we see someone we'd like to marry? Go ahead and marry him. After he's broke? You may get some money after you're married. Why not be sure and get it before? Or just save it up for a while and buy a husband of your own. That's the idea. Now, some of the guests might get a little, a little rough at times. If you need any help, call me. I know how to handle them. Who's the tall man with the mustache I saw in the card room? That is Tennessee, honey. And you keep away from him. He belongs to me. I haven't seen any man I'd like to marry. Well, a good gold mine can make up for a lot of shortcomings. I think I'm going to like it around here. I expect you to behave like ladies at all times. There may be a lot to ask, but do the best you can. And remember, gentlemen respect dignity in a woman. Now, have you any questions? No, no can't think of a thing. And does it. All right, finish dressing and go on downstairs. I thought I'd wear that. Look like fish eggs to me. They are. Caviar. At $100 a thimbleful? They come all the way from Russia. <laughs> I can get bigger fish eggs out of the Sacramento River for nothing. And make better bait, too. Yes, but the fishing's not as good. <laughs> Caviar? I'll take a donut, ma'am. That'll be $5. You were here last week, weren't you? Yes, ma'am. And the week before that. You must really like donuts. To tell you the truth, I can't stand them. <laughs> Stop rattling them coins. You're a bet. I'll bet five hundred. That's nah, by me. Up 500. I'm through. I've had enough. Turn him over. You've got quick hands, mister. Quicker than a man's eye can follow. Someday somebody's gonna cut them off and hang them and you from a high tree. I think it's my deal, gentlemen. You did hear what the man said. If 
If I hurt him, I might have to kill him. We wouldn't want that to happen again, would we, Judge? <laughs> no, for a change, I'd like to see you killed. Maybe you'll get your wish. In the meantime, how about some stuff? Oh, thanks. I've had enough. Mr. Turner! Mr. Turner! I smelled gold, Mr. Turner! I smelled it in the air, I smelled it in the dirty. It, it was so strong, it almost choked me. You're crazy. I was right on top of it, but I didn't have no more grub nor nothing. I had to leave it. Let go of me, grub steak. I don't need much. All I need is just well, some flour and some beans. Oh, that way. Crazy old coot. The only gold he could yeah. find is at the bottom of a whiskey bottle. Now, you better run along, grub steak. I tell you, I smelled it. It smells so strong. Grub steak. Go smell some more gold. You grub steak in me, Tennessee? I'll make you a rich man, Tennessee. Judge, I smelled it. It was so strong. I sm here. Come along, grub steak. You I tell you, me. I smelled it. it. It was so strong. It, it almost choked me. I didn't know you played long shots, Tennessee. I'm betting you money. It'd be kind of funny if it paid off. You won't live that long. You be sure. You come back tomorrow. Closing time. Closing time, gentlemen. If a gal says, kiss me sweet and nice, she never, never has to ask him twice. He's got a great big heart of gold. Heart of gold, brave and bold. Where the ladies are concerned, he's never cold. He is reckless with his gambling, but there's one thing no gal can win. I mean, his great big heart of gold. Thanks for the applause. Who is it? It's an old friend of the family. <laughs> My family never had any friends. And a mighty smart daughter. I used to think so until you came along. Taking the night off? Nice and peaceful around. Thought I'd go to bed early. It's not so peaceful downstairs. Why? What happened? The fellow didn't like the way he lost his money. Same old thing. They crowd in every night, hoping to see you get shot. Mm -hmm. Good for business. It's a rotten business. The customers seem to like it. I'd trade it all in for... I took in 12000 The rest took in three. That makes a $15,000 night. A few more years of that, and you could buy the Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal is a tool. What is it, Sabrina? It's that Mr. Prendergast again. $300 worth of wine. Says we're overcharging him and won't pay his bill. Get me my robe. He's in the conservatory. <laughs> Get out of here, you pretty ape. I'll take care of Prendergast for you. Tennessee, don't you go anywhere near him. Tennessee, come back here. I never ordered no ten bottles of champagne, and I ain't gonna pay for them. You ordered them, and you are going to pay for them. Oh, no, I aren't. All right, Jenny. Why, Mr. Prendergast, I'm really surprised. I ain't paying no $30 a bottle for champagne. But happiness doesn't come cheap, nor can you get it on credit. You have to pay for it, cash on delivery. No, no, Mr. Prendergast is a gentleman and a real sport. I'm sure he wouldn't cheat you out of the measly few hundred dollars he owes you. Hey, give me my wallet. Would you, Mr. Prendergast? <laughs> crooks, that's what you are, both of you, crooks. How much does he want to give you? Uh, $300. $300, you had yourself quite a time. I'll get the sheriff. That's what I'll do. Thank you, Good Mr. Night, Prendergast. Mr. Prendergast. Yeah? We'll run the two of you out of I'm town sorry, one of these days Trump. on a rail. Good you watch. Good night. Why don't you mind your own business? He paid you, didn't he? He'd have paid me anyway by the time I got through with him. And liked it. Forget him. Let's settle up. 10% of $12,000. I'll check it. Mm -mm, I trust. I wish I could figure you out. You're about as nice to have around the house as a pet rattlesnake. I can figure that one out, all right. 
Uh, that's not a marrying kiss. Marrying kiss? Mm-hmm. You want to get married, Duchess? Were you proposing? Uh, no, I was just asking. Uh, I should have learned by now. Play a little game with me, Tennessee, huh? Kiss me just once like you really want to marry me. You know, sweet and tender. Like this. You're rotten, Tennessee, dirty. And what's more, you like it that way. Oh, I suppose I love you. And you know I can't figure that out either. Right? Put your hands up and turn around, Tennessee. Let you and me take a little walk. Up by Grizzly Canyon. I'm gonna get my money back. And then I'm gonna shoot you. Well, maybe I'll shoot you first. Better put that gun away, mister. Kill him, Tennessee. He didn't kill him. I did. You sure about that? Yeah, I was coming into town when I said. Take you both in. Well, you've got no call to arrest anybody. This fellow was trying to bushwhack you. Get moving, the two of you. What about my animals? They'll be all right. Joe, take him over to the delivery barn. Right, sure. Move. You girls saw what happened. I didn't see anything. I just heard. I'll tell you what you saw. Oh, yes, ma'am. Planning to stay long in Sandy Bar? Well, it sort of looks like it. How long? I'm a stranger here. How long do they usually give you for shooting a man? <laughs> Depends on who you shoot. I didn't have time to ask his name. Name is Clifford. All right. How much time do they give you for shooting a man named Clifford? They ought to give you a medal. I'll settle for it. Why'd you do it? I don't like people who'd set out to hurt you when your back was turned. Where are you from? Arizona. Ever been there? Yeah. I was run out of the Arizona Territory three years ago. I was run out of New Mexico, too. And Colorado, Utah, Texas, and Oregon. Well, you ought to be a little bit careful here in California. I understand there's an ocean out there someplace. <laughs> My friends call me cowpoke. 
If I had any friends, they'd call me Tennessee. Oh, they're not too hard to come by. They are in my business. I'm a gambler. You didn't have to tell me that. You cheat much? I've been accused of it. That wasn't what I asked you. A good gambler doesn't have to cheat. Must be kind of lonesome not having any friends. Yeah. The reason I said it, I, I've been lonesome now and then myself. Spent a few winters up in the hills, nobody to talk to for three or four months. I know what you mean. If you get yourself a reputation as a, a gambler and a gun hand, you can't afford friends. There's always some youngster trying to make a name for himself by putting you six feet under. I never figured it that way. You're worse off than I am. We're both in jail. Yeah, but I've been thinking one of your friends gonna come along pretty soon and get us out. I told you, I don't have any friends. Well, that's something you don't know till the time comes. Then you find out. I think they should hang both of them. What for? I understand there's a law against killing human beings. Whoever said Clifford was a human being? Well, let's say that there's a law against killing. Oh, not in self-defense there isn't. I've got six witnesses to prove it. All right, girls, you can go home now. Do you really think they're innocent? I don't think they ought to hang anybody. Good night, boys. All right, you two. I can't say that Clifford had too many friends here of ours, but he certainly had less enemies than Tennessee. The judge is trying to say you killed the wrong man. I saw a fellow in trouble. I tried to help him out. You should have minded your own business. Where I come from? Well, you better go back where you come from, son, before you get into more trouble. I'm not looking for trouble. Don't aim to cause any. I got business in town, important business. I'll leave when it's finished. I'm warning you, cowboy. If you've got anything to warn him about, you can find him at my place. Come on, Capo. Looks like Tennessee has got himself a partner. Well, maybe a cowpoke gunslinger for a bodyguard. It's a nice place you have here, ma'am. Prettiest I've ever seen. Well, thank you. Champagne? Uh, no, thanks. A whiskey? Cold water, if you don't mind. Oh, anything you want. <laughs> Sabrina. Water for the gentleman. Bath? No, drink. My goodness. Don't you ever drink anything but water? Well, not anymore. I figure a fellow's got to get married. He's got a lot of responsibilities to think about. That's a pretty good argument for staying single. I used to think so myself. What made you change your mind? Well, met the right girl, I guess. Local talent? Huh? Mm. That's just his way of asking if she lives in Sandy Bar. No, south of here. Well... To the bride. Well, if you excuse me, I, I better find myself a place to sleep. You're staying with me. Well, that's all right with me, except I don't know where you live. Oh, just ask the first female you see. She'll know where. See, I'm awake. Thought you'd be sound asleep by now. I was up till now. What time is it? Well, it's getting on toward daylight. Well, time to get up. Well, you keep your opinion, I'll keep mine. I say it's time to go to bed. Things look different around here. Well, I sort of cleaned it up a little. Oh, I cleaned it up too. Maybe it's the light in the window. And it's nice to have someone to talk to. You ought to get married. Married? Well, what's wrong with it? 
You have to marry a woman. Well, what's wrong with women? They act like women. Now, that's one thing I've always liked about them. You take Goldie. Huh? What's she like? Real pretty. Nice. I feel good just thinking about her, all warm and happy. You're lucky, Capo. You'll find out how lucky I am tomorrow. Uh, so... I should be frightened, but I'm not really. Everyone's been so nice. You know many people in Sandy Bar? Only one. He doesn't know anybody else either. He wrote for me to come and meet him there. Hello? We're going to be married. She's docking now. We're just in time. I shouldn't have come along. Well, you're my best man, ain't you? I know, but maybe she won't like a professional camera. Ah, uh, you worry too much. I gotta worry. I never was the best man before. I don't want my first wedding to go bad. <laughs> hey, Cowpog, I want to give you a little advice. Now, in the first place, never let a woman know that... Goldie! Oh, there he is. You'll need both hands anyway. What do people think? I don't think we're going to get married, that's all. Well, Goldie, this is my partner, Tennessee. He's going to be best man at our wedding. Sugar, would you mind getting my bags? I've got three of them. They have my name on them. What are you doing here? I came down to meet the bride. Well? Cowpoke's a friend of mine. You don't think I'm good enough for him, huh? Maybe you can change my mind. I've been telling him all week how pretty you are. Uh -huh. Even prettier than you said. Sometimes a man in love doesn't see as clearly about a woman as other men do. Oh, come on, dear. Lucky, that's all. I sent Clifford out to kill him. And that fool cow poke accidentally got in the way. Ever think about killing him yourself? Why should I, when I can hire someone like you to do it for me? Here's your stack. We'll split 50-50 on anything you win. What's my take if I, uh, if I win and kill him, too? 75%. If I lose? A free funeral. See you tonight. Well, here we are. But I got a room reserved for Goldie over at the hotel. You don't want to stay down the hotel with all those drunks, do you? This is the nicest place I've seen in town. Who is it? Belongs to a friend of mine. Are you sure I won't be intruding? Uh -huh. She likes little girls who are going to get married. Well, I'll go over to the hotel and get your dress. What dress? The one I bought for you to get married in. your guest. If you don't mind, I'll choose my own girls. Uh -uh, you got it wrong. That's Cowpoke's light of love. Oh, Cowpoke. I 
expected something in gingham and a sunbonnet. <laughs> so did I. What's she doing here? Well, I thought she might stay with you for a few days till she and Capo get married, if you don't mind. I mind, but she can stay. Duchess, this is Goldie Slater. How do you do, Goldie? Hello. I'll get your bags. Nice of you to let me stay here. Why, it's a pleasure. This place must have cost a lot of money. <laughs> Wives come high in this country. You mean that sign's on the level? Most of it. Girls, I... I'd like you to meet uh, Goldie Slater. Introduce yourselves. Hello, I'm Abby Dean. How do you do? No, I'm Priscilla Forbes. Hello. And? I'm Jenny Lee. Hello. I'm Susan Green. Hello. And I'm Bee Haver. Hello. I'm Corby Ash. How do you do? They all come out here to get married? That's what the sign says. I've been here long? Five or six weeks. Sort of a slow market, isn't it? It's just as fast as you want it to be. Just depends on what you're looking for. I've already got what I'm looking for. Yes, yeah, so I've heard. Well, come on, I'll show you your room. I've never been in a place like this before. Well, don't you worry. You'll feel right at home. Capo, how old are you now, Goldie? Well enough to know I want to marry her. I should think a man would want to know all about a girl before that. I got all my life to get acquainted with her. But, uh, what if you're disappointed? I won't be. Yeah, but what if she's not everything you thought she was? What are you trying to say? Suppose Goldie... Suppose Goldie what? Suppose Goldie... Tennessee, look. I know you're sour on women. But don't go running Goldie down. I'm not running her down. Stop pussyfooting to... around. What's on your mind? All right, keep your shirt on. Can't blame a guy for trying. Trying what? What if some gal friend of mine came along and busted us up? So that's what's biting you. Well, forget it. Nobody's busting us up. Goldie will fit in here like a glove. Be kind of crowded, won't it? Well, and you marry the Duchess, and we'll all move in there. Come on. I gotta prove to Goldie how much I love her. There. Pretty enough to fool any man. Often a girl like you has the chance to marry a good man who loves her. You ought to know. Tennessee's been around a while. Ouch! You stuck me. Oh, come in. You like my dress? It's beautiful. Or maybe it's just because you're wearing it. I always want to be beautiful for you. See what I told you about her? I see. Oh, I almost forgot. I brought you a wedding present. Five thousand dollars in gold. It's oh. heavy. It's not too heavy. I'll take good care of it, Angel. Well, it's yours as much as mine. Oh, you're sweet. You, uh, can't carry 30 pounds of gold in your stocking. I'll cash it for you. Oh, thanks. Three queens. You win, Judge. Beats me. Take it. Excuse me. Good evening, gentlemen. Hi. 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 Mind if I sit in? Suit yourself. There's not much action tonight. Well, it's me one way or another. What's the limit? Table stakes. My name's Turner. Reynolds. Judge Parker. Judge. How do you do, Reynolds? Judge. Hey, Judge. Where's Tennessee tonight? Oh, uh, he'll be along later. Six ounces. That's all of it. Three hundred. 
36 ounces at 15, that's $5,000. Did you see the sweet way he kissed her? Oh, I get so mad when I think how he's gonna be hurt by that pet. What are you gonna do about it? You might try telling him. How do you tell a guy a sweetheart's a tramp? Then talk to her. And what good would that do? How do you expect her to show her hand without a call? Why don't you try calling? Oh, no. You brought her in, you get her out. That's cowpoke's business. Let him take care of it. What a louse you are. Are you so chicken-hearted you haven't the courage to warn your pal against a rattlesnake? Tell him the truth. Will you shut up and make some sense? He trusts Goldie. He loves her. She could probably be anything or do anything. He'd still love her. All right. Get in your blessings and send them on their way. Here's his money, and I hope she enjoys it. One thing bothers me, though. What's Cowpoke going to do when he finds out his light of love is one of your discards? Introduce yourselves to the gentlemen and see that they get anything they wish. Within reason, that is. Good well, evening, Duchess. Good evening, Judge. Mr. Turner, gentlemen. Duchess. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen you around here before. Oh, Duchess, Mr. Reynolds. Good evening, Duchess. How do you do? It's a nice place you have. Nice, friendly game, too. I'll let him tie in with Are you stupid. through? I'm through. Then let me tell you something. The cowpoke's not like you, Tennessee. He's a good man, and he loves me. He wouldn't believe you, and if he did, he'd still forgive me. So get out of here. Come on. tonight. Why not? I was a stranger at the poker table. He deals like a professional. That doesn't mean anything. I've seen ringers before. Let's take a look. Now wait, there may be not trouble. Me, honey, I never could wait for anything, you know that, especially trouble. Shy that much. <laughs> You're a little late tonight, Tennessee. I heard it was a dull evening. How are you tonight, Judge? Hi, Tennessee. Fast game? How fast? $500 minimum bet. All right. Well, that's too steep for me. I'll play a few hands. Roger. Ah, no deck. as well hang out a no sell sign on the donuts and caviar. I always heard men like wine, women, and song. Nobody ever told me about cards. Oh, cheer up. They have to run out of money sooner or later. That's what I'm worried about.
Open for 5,000. Cards? I'll play these. Dealer, take one. You haven't looked at your draw card. Your bet, Mr. Reynolds. Open for 5,000. How is Tennessee's luck? Tennessee's luck's in his hands. I guess he doesn't want him cut off yet. Up 5,000. Five thousand. And up ten. And five thousand. He's crazy. Yeah. Your bet, Mr. Reynolds. You still haven't looked at your draw card. Make your bet and we'll both look at it. Five thousand. And up five. And 5,000. You're too sure, Tennessee. I'm hoping, Mr. Reynolds. I'm hoping it's an ace. You know it's an ace. You're calling the bet? I never call against a crooked deal. You're under arrest, Tennessee. It was self-defense. You dealt a crooked hand. You asked for it. If you'd have called me, it wouldn't have been worth a dime. I still say he knew that ace was on top. Nothing. I'm closing your game, Tennessee. You try to open it, I'll run you out of Sandy Bar. But you heard him say he shot in self-defense. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Then arrest him and let a jury decide. You're wasting your taxpayers' money. I'll close you too, Duchess. You let him use this place you again. You can't do that. My job's to maintain law and order. I'm doing my job. You've been nothing but trouble ever since I've known you. I don't want no more of you. And you. Maybe you better leave town. It's no fault of his. I don't like the company he keeps. I came town to get married. I ain't going till I do. All right. You got till tomorrow night to get married. Duchess is closing for the night, folks. Everybody out. I'm sorry, Capo. Had to be, I guess. Well? You've asked for it for a long time. Now you've got it. It's $50,000. Makes five for the house. Oh, what's the use? Come in. Oh, 
you. Goldie, I want to talk to you. You've already done that. This is different. It's about money. Keep talking. You're beautiful. I thought you had something unusual to propose. You know, this is a beautiful place. Wouldn't be anything without the Duchess, though. She makes it. The Duchess has class. She's a lady. What's that got to do with me? You've got everything she's got and more. Me? You know, San Francisco is a lot richer than Sandy Bar. Bigger, too. If you owned a place like this there, it'd be better than a gold mine. I'm marrying the cowpoke tomorrow. For $5,000? I consider that a fair price for the amount of time I intend to spend with him. How long will that be? How long does it take to get to the Arizona border? Have a good trip. Unless you have a better idea. I have. Look at it this way. There's me and $50,000. And there's you and five thousand dollars. And there's San Francisco waiting for the both of us. But what are you waiting for? Who's waiting? Madam, this is the finest hotel in Sacramento. <laughs> what time does the boat leave in the morning? Eight a.m. Room eight. Thank you. Here. Go upstairs and make yourself beautiful. Aren't you coming up with me? I'll be up in a little while. Don't keep me waiting too long, sugar. Sit in. If you can afford it. Breakfast. Better hurry up if you want to catch that boat. It's Tennessee. We'll have to leave if we're going to catch the boat. I'll wait for you in the lobby. Morning. Morning, ma'am. Guess I got here a little bit early. You got here a little bit late. Let's go in the library. Drink? No, thanks. Do you mind if I have one? I think I'm going to need it. Well, if you just tell Goldie that... Goldie isn't here. Not here? That's what I said. Well, 
Maybe I'd better leave and come back later. No, wait. She won't be here then either. Where is she? Oh, I don't know. Well, didn't she leave word for me? She didn't leave word for anybody. Well, I guess she's just gone for a walk or something. I never knew anybody who went for a walk and took their luggage with them. Wait a minute. You might as well know. Everybody else in town does. Know what? Goldie left last night. With Tennessee. Tennessee? the church, dearie. I'll be waiting. <laughs> Let him fight, Judge. He ain't here. Who? Whoever it is you're looking for. Compens of the house. My partner, Tennessee. Pass off the first line. What are you doing? You take this. It's dirty. Out of ten, you're a high, but I haven't got time. Wait! You! I'm not trying, miss. Oh, it's that brother of mine. Bye, brother, dear. Brother's always been so playful. He, he knows I'm afraid to be alone. You needn't be alone, ma'am. someplace? Yep. Where? Wherever they've gone. You may have a long trip ahead of you. I'm in no hurry. What are you going to do for money? She took all yours. I can get plenty up at the claim. A little while, I'll have enough to follow them no matter where they've gone. She isn't worth it, cowpoke. I was thinking of Tennessee. Oh, what do you want with him? I want to kill him. Cowpoke. Don't let him make a killer out of you. He isn't worth it either. Man can take almost anything, except being made a bigger fool than he already is. Thank you, Cowpoke. 
now, Paul. Hey. You still grubbing around that hole? Thought you had your safe made. It's gone. Well, that's too bad. Me, I recollect you telling me about some little gal you was going to marry as soon as you made your strike. She's gone too. Well, that could turn out to be a blessing. Now, don't get mad at me, boy. Shucks, and nobody plays no never mind of what old Grubstake Steak says. Do me a favor. <laughs> I can trust you. Sure. Would you put some writing on, on my location, man? You see, <laughs> I started prospecting so young, I never did have no chance to go to school. All right, where is it? You got a pencil? Pencil? Use piece charcoal. Now, right here. That's squaw rock on the south. And that sentinel oak there on the east. And massacre meadow here on the west. And scout rock on the north. And right there is my strike. So you finally hit it. Solid gold mountain. <laughs> Say, look at them be pretty. Did you ever see anything like them? 24 karat solid gold. I'm glad, Grubstake. You had it coming. All right, there you are. Oh, much obliged. I better go on down and sort of register this claim before them skunks jump claim on me. <laughs> so long. Come Say, on. by the way, you better come down to town tonight. Make it a point. Because I'm going to throw the most ringtail party you ever see. So long. Thanks, just the same. Come on, sweetheart. We're going downtown and get ourselves drunk. You can't get drunk all dirty and looking the way you do. Well, you're rich folk now, Grubstake. That's right, I'm rich folk. Gotta have a bath. Sabrina, get the hot water ready. And some clean clothes, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's Sunday. Well, all the shops are closed. Tennessee has some clothes here, but they, well, they won't fit exactly. Well, we can cut them down to fit. He can afford it. He's as rich as I am. Oh. Open up! What's going on in there? Hey, Grubstake! Hey, I'm gonna have a bath! And after that there, I'm going to get some sleep. But come sundown, you're all invited to drink on crazy old grub steak. Don't eat the soap. With soap? Oh, with soap. All right, girls, take him to the spare room and give him a bath. What? Honest? Well, just get him a tub. He can wash himself. Oh, oh, I come on, sleep, darling. You think it'll do any good? Oh, so
not going back in there. They're like wild animals. My hands are sore from slapping. I don't blame you, girls. All right, go to your rooms. I'll handle them. Go up the back stairs. What's going on out there? They're celebrating your being a millionaire. Congratulations. When did all this happen? Grubsteak struck it rich. Isn't that the reason why you came back? No. And did you bring her with you, or did you ditch her, too? I didn't bring her with me. Oh, naturally, you wouldn't want her with you now. You ungrateful, miserable. I never did want her with me. Ha! I couldn't see her making a sucker out of cowpoke, and I couldn't talk to him, so I packed her off, that's no, all. Oh, I don't believe it. Well, here's his money. I know it's a little difficult to believe, but... Maybe you are telling the truth. I don't really care now. All right, suppose you were trying to help Cowpoke. Instead, you made a killer out of him. A killer? He said he was going to kill you. Cowpoke wouldn't do anything like that. Oh, you play your hand your own way without even thinking what you're doing to other people. Goldie had it coming to her. Well, Cowpoke didn't. You made a bigger fool out of him than Goldie did. Maybe, but it won't last as long. Was that the only reason for it, Tennessee? That's the only reason, Duchess. Hmm. I just may have to change my opinion about you. Don't. It may never happen again. Where is Cowpoke now? He's up at his mine. I better go see him, see if I can square this. Yeah, if he lets you live long enough. Please, Tennessee, don't go. I have to. He'll kill you, I know it. You'd be better off without me, Duchess. Ace room and get some wheels. Can't do it. Got to wait for Tennessee. Come on, grub stick. Grub stick, the rich and bottles all paper. I'm going to go home. That you, Tennessee? I told you I'd make you rich. Got to have a drink. Come on, have a drink. No, that's all for tonight. Now, let's go. This is I... his party. Don't you try to stop. That gun away, you fool. You try to kill your friends. Oh, I take the old man out of here. Go on, everybody. Clear out. Go home. We're closed for the night. Where's that claim, Grubster? <laughs> I don't even know myself. What? I can't remember. You got it all read out. Beautiful map. Going to register the claim. No, I thought you claimed up for Come on, come on. You two out. Go home. That's enough. But enough, but enough. You can't take him out of here. You gotta talk to us, Grubstick. You gotta tell us about the train. Come on, give us a tip, Grubstick. Where is he, Grubstick? You gotta tell us about the train.
I heard you were looking for me. Draw your gun, Tennessee. I didn't bring one. What'd you do with it? I sent her back to San Francisco, where I first met her. You knew her before? Her and a lot of others like her. She wouldn't shake hands with you unless she was paid for it first. Come on, get up and fight! I won't fight you, Capo. Here's your money. I'm sorry I can't give back the other things she stole. Why'd you do it? I don't like people who set up to hurt you when your back's turned. Sheriff, just the way we found him. Who's we? Me and some of the boys. We were waiting for him to register his claim, and when he didn't come out, we looked through the window. He's dead, all right. Had his head bashed in. Tennessee brought him home last night. I'm thinking we ought to have a little talk with Tennessee. Take care, everybody. There's no doubt about it. The sheriff's got the murder pinned on Tennessee. You take care of things. I may be gone a couple of days. But that's impossible. Tennessee isn't a cold-blooded murderer. A jury will decide that. But no man in his right mind would commit murder in his own house. Maybe that's what he'd like us to believe, eh? If you'll just tell us where to find him. Well, he was going up to cop. I don't know where he is. Thank you. But... Oh, Sabrina, get my riding clothes. to arrest you for a killing. Who did I kill? Grubstake. 
Grubstake did? Who'd want to hurt him? There's no time to argue. Just get on your horse and go. But I didn't kill him. But they think you did. The whole town's gone wild because they've lost out on Grubstake's gold. She's right. You can't argue with a bunch of gold-crazy miners. Maybe you might need this. I'll try to hold him off for a while. Thanks, partner. You know where we're here, West Tennessee. I haven't seen it. He ain't here. We've been tricked. Capo's in on this. String him up. Get a rope. Yeah, I know that is too. For me anyway. It's Tennessee! Stay him out! Let's get him out! There be no lynching! I don't want to lynch him either. Now suppose we hear what Tennessee has to say. Got both right, boys. You know why we're here? Yeah? Supposing you tell me what happened last night. Rumpsteak was drunk. I took him home, put him to bed, and left. Where'd you go? I went to take care of some personal business. From the looks of your face, you've been fighting. Or well, maybe the old man was hard to kill, eh? I marked his face up. Now you've done too much of stealing your bride. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, you laughing hyenas. Did you take Grubstake's map? Yes. What'd you do with it? The claim isn't registered yet. A man's been murdered, Tennessee. You'd better find that map. gone. Grubstake put his mark on that claim. Whoever stole that map will have to replace it with his own before he can register. I wouldn't have to change his mark. I'm his partner. He's dead now. It's all yours. That's about as good a motive as any I've ever heard of for murder. You're under arrest, Tennessee. He couldn't have done it. He was with me all the time. You again. It's the truth. You're both coming along. Sheriff, if you think that... There's I... a lot to think about, Tennessee. Like a man can forget having his girl stolen, he's going to be paid off with half a gold mine. Tennessee, he's got a right to think that. He's looking for facts, same as we are. Idea, Tennessee, give you old Grubstake's map to keep for him. The sheriff can search his house any time he wants. We aim to find it for ourselves before some others get the idea. Search the house. You get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. I said I'll get away from me. Get away from me. Fine bunch of heroes beating up on women. Whose side you on, Sheriff? You gave me this badge, mister. Yeah, and we might take it away from you, too. Get out of here before I run you all in. And you keep those doors locked or get out of town. You understand? One or the other. I 
I thought you might like to know. Some prospectors just tried to beat up Duchess and the girls. Why? They're all set for a gold rush, but they don't know where to rush. It's driving them crazy. You keep them away from the Duchess. No, you can do that better than me. Tell me where I can find Grubstake's map. I told you, I don't know. You don't care how many people you hurt, do you? Well, the sheriff's got it figured right. Whoever killed Grubstake has got to change that marker before he can register the claim. We could catch him at it. I don't know where it is. I do. I drew that map for the old man. We got places to go, Capo. Hey, Mike. Yeah, what do you want? There's some noise outside the window here. And there's noise out front, too. Hold it, hold it, hold it! I'm holding these two men for murder. You're not going to see them, you're not going to talk to them, so go on about your business. Now get out of here. Sounds like somebody fiddling with the bars. Listen. Come back again. I'm frightened. Well, I'm not leaving. If you want to go, go if you like. What are you doing here? How did you get out of jail? We broke out. The sheriff said there was a mob here trying to wreck the place. Oh, they'll wreck it more if they find you here. We were kind of worried about you and the girls. Why did you start worrying about yourselves? You sure you're all right, Duchess? Oh, I'm fine. Just get out of here. Hurry. Come on, Capo. This horse hasn't been here too long. And that's the trail to Grubstake's claim. This is Sentinel Oak. His claim's just the other side of these rocks. Your hands, Turner.
I'm coming out. Throw your gun out first. Come out slow with your hands high. Tennessee, Capo, grab those guns. We've got the man with the map, Sheriff. We'll talk about that when you drop those guns. Might as well do it. It doesn't make any difference now. Too bad. I'd like to have killed you, Turner. Some for the hangman's rope, Tennessee. even know his name. 